Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Carnival Top Place. I hope you guys are doing well. And guys, welcome to the new video with you all. I'm sharing today that is 2023 Mini Cooper Country Man. Talking about the 2023 Mini Cooper Country Man, the plus size it's a plus size proportions with a plus size for mini that is make it more useful than most other mini small, which are more suited handling two passengers. While we think it's increased the dimension in the extra mass dimension, the fun factor one of the brand's deafening traced we acknowledge that the countryman's larger size probably leads to a wider audience than its the smaller siblings. This is the Maxi Mini. It has a big back seat as a goodly amount of cargo space. At least compared with the rest of its family, power comes from the turbocharged three or four cylinder engines with the either front or the wheel drive. Too bad neither provides satisfying thrust. The plug-in hybrid model is easy with quick rest, but its higher price, tag, and increased weight offset its advantages. The 2023 Countryman doesn't employ the mini ethos, but it's the distinctive bodywork, well-built interior, at least let it look the part. For 2023, Mini adds a special edition to the Countryman lineup. The new untamed edition package is available on the Copper S and plug-in hybrid SE models. It wears the exclusive momentum grey metallic paint and includes a unique frozen glowstone stripping on the doors, likewise a set of two-tone 18-inch wheels paired with a black roof and a mirror caps. For additional black interior, wheels paired with a black roof and mirror cap, it has in the Mini offers a piano black exterior option. Inside the untamed, there are shades of blue and green that complement the exclusive highland green interior, as well as the special graphics and untamed letter on waiting services. There are also a black kit panel on the dashboard that displays the mountain landscape. We recommended the Copper S for its four cylinder engine, which provides an extra 55 horsepower over the standard three cylinders. Every has at has 8 inch wheels, a panoramic sunroof, rear parking sensor and a supportive front seat. Those who want the added traction of all-wheel drive can spec it for a dollar to thousand. But we had an option, our countryman with the mid-level signature trim package for its 8.8 inch touchscreen infotainment system. Dual zone climate control, heated front seats, and a passive entry, the driver assistance package, which brings adaptive cruise control and a head-up display also makes our list. The country fan family includes the three distinct power trains. The base engine is 134 HP turbo charge with a three cylinder that lacks the power to move the crossovers. 3,300 plus pounds with any authority. The Cooper S has a more powerful 189 HP turbo 4, but it still doesn't provide the kidepe that we crave for. The plug in hybrid model is the quickest non JCW country mount we have tested, but it's also the most expensive. Non hybrid front drive versions feature a snappy 7 speed, the most expensive. Version features and the dual clutch automatic transmission. All wheel drive model receives an 8 speed automatic. <clears throat> the countryman's static disposition isn't a bad thing, it's just different from the attitude of other minis, which are unreservedly playful. It's worth noting that the non offered test vehicles features minis adjustable dampers, which might help offset of the sometimes harsh ride quality we have experienced. The plug-in hybrid brake pedal has to long dead spot at the top of its travel, which takes some getting used to it. Thank you guys for listening up my video. I hope this video will be very helpful for you all. Guys, do not forget to share, subscribe and like.